I was always a pretty shy kid in school, but when I walked into the drama room, Mr. Sakasiris made me believe that anything was possible. And he was just so welcoming, so engaging, and had a real caring side to him, which made my transition from primary school to high school a whole lot easier. For the rest of my life, I have had this love of language and dialect and how important language is for culture. And I was really touched and I will never ever forget how much she made me believe in myself and my writing. Mr Hooker was the history teacher and he transmitted that immense affection for his, uh, for his discipline uh, to those of us who were his students. My high school teachers um, convinced me to play football and I can thank him every day for the life I now live. He was a, a young teacher who taught me in, uh, in my early years in high school uh, to really appreciate and love the subject that he was teaching. This teacher really taught me how to look at something, see the interest in it and tell that story and that's pretty much what I do every day as a journalist. And I looked at specimens which looking back on it I think were carnivorous plants from Western Australia never knowing I would come and have my life here. That moment changed my life. And I suspect that the way that he taught me and the subjects that he sort of brought to my mind are in a large part the reason that I am doing the job that I'm doing today. It was in his class that we watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon, always discuss current events and enjoyed learning. The biggest thing I think she taught me was that if you believe in something and you do your very, very best and someone guides you through it, it will stay with you for the rest of your life.